is a beautiful sunny day here in Florida, specifically Dunedin, Florida, as the sign right there says, right where Tampa Jay is, and that bicyclist. And here's the sign up close, welcome to Dunedin. Now, if Tampa Jay hadn't uh, already said this several times, I probably would have called it Dun, Dun, Dundin. Welcome to Dundin. That's what I, yeah, that's definitely how I would have pronounced it. But I think it is Dunedin. And apparently they are home of the Pipe Band Champions 2018. Way to go. Way to go, sir. Hello everyone, welcome. And welcome back. We are here, as the sign says, in Clearwater. Clearwater. But we are also on the edge of Dunedin, right? Yeah, That's... I can see the Dun Welcome to Dunedin sign right yeah, over there. Yeah, right over there that I just showed right before this. So, what are we doing today? We are actually going into Dunedin, downtown Dunedin to the Penny Lane Beatles Museum. Oh, that's cool. Because you love the Beatles. I do love the Beatles. I love the Beatles. You love the Beatles. And I've never been to this museum before. I've always wanted to. You're in town. Mm. I thought this would be a great way to show you the cute little kitschy coastal community of Dunedin and explore something fun, the Beatles Museums. Yeah. And I heard it's pretty cool. So. That sounds awesome, yes. We have been planning this for a little bit now, so very excited to finally see it in person and of course take you all along with us. And then I think after that, we're going to check out Tarpon Springs, yes, too. Yes, yes. We're going to go up the road here to Tarpon Springs, which is the Greek community here in the Tampa Bay area, uh -huh. and they have sponges. And they have sponges, which I need a sponge, so I'm very excited about that. I have been to Tarpon Springs before, but I was a kid at that time, Look so that. I'm excited to go there as an adult. So very awesome. By the way, you. we are... Clearwater is the spring training home of the Phillies. So, very appropriate. And also, Dunedin was the... Is the spring is training the, home of the Toronto Blue Jays. Which I am from, Toronto, You too. were born there! So, this is so appropriate in so many ways. But anyway, let's get to the day. There is so much to do and so much to see. It's a beautiful Florida day and I am very excited. Here so comes the sun, baby. here comes the sun, as they <laughs> say. Let's get to it. Let's go. There's lots of boating action going on out there today. Oh, wow. Look at all these, uh, yeah, wave runners. Wave runners. And by the way, as we are walking back to our vehicle, I have, of course, a coffee here. And this one is thanks to Dan and Michelle who bought me a coffee. So thank you both. This is, uh, I cannot tell you how much this is needed right now in this very moment. So I appreciate it very much. Your support means so much to me. All right, let's go. If we still have to celebrate Christmas, might as well have a Santa riding a spaceship. That is honestly one of the coolest things I've seen a in a while. That thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so Tampa J was just telling me a really cute story about these oranges. Go ahead. I'll give you the cliff notes of it, okay. so to speak. That's I don't fine. know all the details, but these were painted by an artist and he was known as the Orange Bandit because what he would do was paint these uh, oranges on all over these buildings all over Dunedin without anyone's okay. permission and so it became a thing and then eventually it was like he got caught but it mm -hmm. was like all right you're in trouble but you're not in trouble they yeah, liked it because so. they're adorable who could get mad at that they are adorable. that's pretty awesome they taste good too yeah they do take a bite no <laughs> i'm already you know i was saying like a bunch of wacky kind of stuff around here too like look at these people climbing up the fire escape here and I just realized these people are actually climbing right above this classic London telephone booth, which is kind of where we are headed. Not through this way, but the other way. But the Penny Lane Museum is right over there. The real question though is, which beetle 
would you want to be? It's kind of hard to tell which one is which with their heads cut out. Decisions. Okay, and we've found the museum. It is on the second floor of this building here of the Sterling Art Studios and Gallery. That's where we're headed. Okay, and it's pretty neat because this whole upstairs area is like a whole art gallery in and of itself. But over here, tucked in the corner, we found Penny Lane. Are you excited? In my heart? Yes, I am. Also, I thought this was pretty cute, but gotta remember to social distance. Keep one Beatles apart. I'm doing a pan here so you can get the feel for how big it is. All right, Tampa J. It's just from where I'm standing right here all the way back there, but you can see it is jam packed full of Beatles memorabilia. So I'm just gonna pick out some few pieces here to show you all that I think is cool but yeah you're definitely gonna want to come and check it out yourself if you're a Beatles fan I can tell you that right now so this is pretty cool this is John Lennon's Long John's and I was just reading the sign here and it said that after his divorce from Yoko Ono, um, actually, I'll just read the sentence here. During this time, we were trying to develop our friendship and we spent a lot of time relaxing around the house, making vegetarian meals together, playing music and singing. That sounds like my idea of a perfect, perfect day. So here's some cool pins and patches in here, some jewelry. I really like those patches though. I keep coming back to that. And for all you dishware fans, got some cups and some plates. I was just looking at all of the stuff on the wall here and this one caught my eye. The mothballs, Beatles mothballs. They, they truly made them into everything. Also, cute little drum set here. Here's some more kitschy stuff, a big Beatles. More pins, toy megaphone here, and cute little miniature of the Beatles there. Oh, and the brushes. Also, love seeing John Lennon's glasses here. I don't think those are his actual ones, but probably a replica. But it makes me think. I definitely need a pair of new sunglasses, that's for sure. And I do love seeing the tea towels. That cute little apron, that is adorable. I would own both of those things. Also this tapestry. Okay, this might be one of the creepier things that I've seen. Face cake decorations of the Beatles. Not sure why that was necessary, but here we are. By the way, they do have souvenirs here. Get your Penny Lane Museum souvenirs. Now to get inside of here, you didn't, you don't have to pay anything. It is free, which is nice, but it's always good to support small museums. And they got a lot of really cool stuff. I might grab something. Ooh, I like those shoes. I wouldn't mind getting some of those. Also, look at all of the cool uh, ticket stubs here. These are really adorable too. I love the dolls. Oh, and look some uh, Russian dolls of them as well. And I do love seeing all of the mannequins with some of their clothes on it. This is uh, Ringo Starr's Serape. And here is a picture of him wearing it right there. Yellow, oh, oh this is all yellow feathery. Yeah, yeah, I thought you would like that because that's yeah. your favorite, right? Favorite yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. And there's some more kitschy things in here. I like the little blow up figures. Uh, there's some talcum powder and hairspray, salt and pepper shakers. I think the kitschy, the kitschy stuff is definitely my favorite. Just a couple more things that I really like. These marionette puppets here. And also, this dress I would totally wear. This set of long underwear
she was basically she she ended up being in um, Paul McCartney's group after the Beatles' Wings, but she was originally a groupie. So, like we kind of mentioned before, there is a whole art gallery up here where the Beatles Museum is, and um, they're actually doing a miniature art show up here from January 16th to February 6th of this year. Here's all of the information if you want to come check it out. The whole top spot of this area is filled with art from local artists. So come on out, support some local art, have a good time. So I just stepped outside for just a second, but I wanted to also mention that this whole area up here is an art studio and gallery. So even if you don't stop by for their art show, pop up here and uh, check out all of the local artists' work. Um, I didn't take any film, well I didn't film in there just because um, I did see a sign that said no photography and I want to respect that, you know, when you're coming here you should be buying the art not taking pictures of it <laughs> for free. Definitely a cool spot, check it out, support some local artists also. It's a really beautiful day out today, and they're open. All right, heading out of the museum, down the stairs. I have purchased something which will be revealed in just a minute. Okay, so I got a hat. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, um, you know, it's always great to support local museums, local art, uh, anything like that, of course, and especially when they are free of admission. Um, this is a great way to give back and make sure that people are still able to, you know, provide these services for us and, and such. So, got my hat. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for the rest of the rest of the day. had a second to process what just happened what did you think of the museum well um it wasn't what i expected but it was better than i expected um it was very organized yeah it was just immaculate like the stuff they had in there J john's glasses like the merchandise the beetles the hairspray kind yeah. of felt like a space balls <laughs> moment beetles the giant comb beetles <laughs> the uh <laughs> the ball I all don't... kinds of stuff like if and any kind of merchandising out there they slap the beetles on it right and the merchandise and the memorabilia yeah. the uniqueness of that museum mm -hmm. and the fact that that the collector has more somewhere mm -hmm. uh, like you said in my video if you're a beatles fan and you're in the area um come over here and come over here from orlando even there's plenty of stuff to do it in Tampa is, Bay, you can tag that on here in Dunedin as Yeah, well. it is well, well worth it, especially if you are a big fan of the Beatles like we are. Yeah. And um, I'll also go ahead and just say at this point that, um, you know, I always try to point out the things that catch my eye, which is usually the weird and like kitschy yeah. stuff. Yeah. Tampa J definitely went more into the actual history of the stuff and... Um, so make sure that you check out his video uh, at the end of this because Thank you. He, I know that he, I know for a fact he went into more detail than I did. Well, so. I think I think it's going to be great. But I, I'm anxious to watch your video whenever you put it out to see uh, the stuff that you shared that I didn't share, yeah. and vice versa, and the same stuff. I think between both videos, you get a pretty good. Uh, a view of that collection up there yeah. which we just saw yeah i think so and now we're now we're both yeah. hat buddies yeah we both got hats yeah like yours both got hats and i got a keychain yep she gave me the keychain i gave got. him the keychain <laughs> <laughs> so we saw this mural on the way in and we had to stop and take a closer look look at all the doggies dog eating dog eating so many people walking dogs down here all the time 
Yeah, it is definitely Dog City over here. But yeah, look. Look at all the dogs. This is legitimately one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And they even included some felines in there. Aww. Looks like my doggy. That looks just like Bella. <laughs> Here's the information also for the, I guess the person probably who did this mural. Muralsformutts.com. I'll have to check that out yeah, later. Also on the way in, I basically shrieked in Tampa Jay's ear I when I saw, that. yeah, <laughs> I saw a really cute little plant shop. So I'm gonna pop inside now and hopefully not spend too much money. All right, we just left and I couldn't help but buy a couple of plants. What can I say? I'm a sucker. Alrighty, I see some sponges. I think that means we might be in Tarpon Springs. I'm excited. And according to that sign there, we are indeed in Tarpon Springs, Florida, the sponge capital of the world. Of the world. Also, according to the leading expert of Tar Tarpon Springs, at least according to me, Tampa J. We're in hey. Tarpon Springs, right? Welcome and welcome to uh, the Two Georges deep sea charter boat where uh -huh. my family and I have gone out many of times. The boat's right out there. Right. It's already back. Ended at 4 p.m. but caught a lot of fish over there off that boat. I have to say it is definitely an honor to be here with Tampa J. Considering considering I'm excited. Yeah well you've uh, you've done several vlogs here especially in the past. Yeah, some of your yeah. first ones here at Tarpon Springs. That's so right, great memory. it is very awesome to be here with you right now. <laughs> Having a great time so far. It's we haven't even pleasure. started. My pleasure. <laughs> and right now Tarpon Springs is uh, definitely the place to be. They're doing a craft show this weekend. So the streets are full of pedestrians and people selling their wares. Tampa J was just pointing out Hella's Bakery here, which is world famous, right? Oh yeah, that's the sweet spot right there. That's my that's favorite spot, spot to spot. grab some uh, something yeah. sweet, some dessert. Ooh, okay, we'll have to do that a little bit later yeah, then. Yeah, we'll see that. Here's some cool loofahs, extra extra large loofahs, legitimate ones. That's pretty cool. Very tempting purchase you, right here. What'd you find over there? An extra extra large loofah. Loofa. Yeah. <laughs> $9.99. Yeah, that's a good price for a loofah, I think. Oh, it's a great price. Yeah. And these are a bunch of uh, sponge boats. So people will go out onto the water, into the, onto, into the water, and uh, go fishing for some sponges. And there's actually like a tour that you can take, a world famous tour here from what I understand, uh, where you can go out on a boat and someone will go into one of those deep sea diving suits, kind of all of a, uh, all of, uh, uh, what's it called? 20,000 leagues under the sea and like go down and actually grab a bunch of sponges and whatnot. So you can see the whole process. It's really cool. And the sponge industry, the Tarpon Springs Sponge Exchange has continued to serve as a focal point for the Greek community. Okay, now repeat everything that you just said and to me. And this guy is uh -huh. uh, the statue with the, you know, the iconic diving suit as you were yeah. just mentioning. Yeah. Spongers of Tarpon Springs. It's just kind of a, okay. a tribute to them. Yeah, I did see, I remember this from, again, your earlier vlogs oh, yeah, of I've this whole <laughs> area. Honestly, like those are some of my most favorite vlogs oh, that you've you. done. It was just really cool. So it's it's so awesome to be here doing uh, kind of the same thing, except of a lesser quality. <laughs> oh, you're doing great. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt yeah, you. Yeah, no, what? But this is the Tarpon Springs family Christmas tree. <laughs> I don't know why, just popped in there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling your camera now with her. Yeah. He's grabbing my <laughs> But yeah, the honor and pleasure is all mine. Uh -huh. So I'm glad you're here. I'm very glad I'm here too. Thank you, Tampa J. This boat's already got some sponges on top of it. Look how cute they are. It's called the Susie C. Awesome. And I'm realizing as I'm reading the sign that it kind of goes over the process of how they harvest the sponges. 
and uh, don't forget to check out their uh, social media if you're of the mind but yeah look at all the sponges up top there it's so cool that this is like still a thing there's still some boats going out there uh, doing well doing the process of grabbing all these sponges it's definitely worth a visit for sure to see it in person and they've got sponge references everywhere I was just noticing this bicycle rack here is in the shape of their uh, deep sea diving suit helmet things of a jig so yeah really cute Jay was just saying that the the boat that you can actually take out on a sponge boat yeah tour is, it's actually it's out, out right now, right now. It, it would normally be here so I'm not gonna show that obviously but we still got this one here with a very loud bird sitting at the front of the boat I just noticed this bicycle that's like all decked out oh, I'm in the causing a shadow there we go sponges. yeah it looks like sponges like access sponges and then the rope on the wheels it's a yeah it's a sponge sickle very good <laughs> yeah these are really cool obviously a bunch of sponges out here but I think I might hold off until we get to that sponge rama right sponge you want to check that out first yeah sure there's, all, there's so many sponge shops there's, I know well they're they're we'll yeah they're, they're all along the street here all kinds of sponges so I'm gonna have my pick of the perfect sponge. Which one will be sponge worthy? Exactly. Good. All right, what a great photo opportunity. It is, yeah. All right, here we go. You know what I'm about to say, right? Something I always say? I think so. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. She got it. Did you get it? I think we got it. We're good. Think yeah, we're good. <laughs> Even the sign says it's a must see, so let's go see them. And automatically, it smells amazing in here because they also apparently have a lot of soaps. All the soaps you could want. It smells so good. And also, of course, sponges. And by the way, I know many of you are wondering where you can get your faux paint rollers well Whoa, right here that's cool in tarpon springs i know you were looking for these tampa j well, here was you go for that. yeah ten dollars you're welcome <laughs> i guess technically i mean really you could just use them as a normal sponge you know like you would every day in the household doing dishes or whatever you're doing with sponges um i'm not sure that i will do that because i want to keep mine in good condition they're so cool and of course you have all of your nautical, hilarious signage that you could possibly need in your house. Live life in flip-flops. Keep calm and mermaid on. How many, um, how many hilarious signage do you want for your apartment, Tampa oh, J? these are fun. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do have a retirement plan. Fishing. Fishing. <laughs> this, okay, this is the best one. I am an aquaholic. Let's get <laughs> ship faced. Perfect. Sadly, there's only one left, or I would get all of them. They also have decorative nets here. So if you buy a bunch of seashells and sponges, you can display them in a nautical fashion. So this is interesting. Loofahs apparently are not sponges, they are part of the loofah vegetable apparently so that's pretty cool oh the things that you will learn on this uh on this channel you're welcome everybody you're welcome and this sign says natural sponges are the second lowest life form which is very rude they never have they never hold bacteria or mold according to the sign so that's why they're used for like cleaning stuff so that's pretty, pretty cool. Can actually kind of try them out. They have some sponges in water here. So oh, 
demonstration. Let's, yeah, let's give it a squeeze. Oh, it, it's okay. That's what they're meant it, for. It, it can take it. Yeah, it can take. It can take. Yep, that's definitely a sponge, all right. Yep. Oh, that feels cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> you can try out all the different kinds of sponges that there are, which honestly, I didn't even really know. It's gonna be hard picking out just the right sponge. Thank you, Tampa J. Here we go, decorative and how to plant sponges. In a sponge. Oh man, you are good job. If you take a screenshot, <laughs> it'll last longer. It will. Yep. I, I really didn't honestly know this was a was a thing that I could do, and now I think I'm gonna have to do it. So the trick will be finding a sponge that is kind of deep enough to be a planter, but doesn't have like a hole, too many holes at the bottom. I'm obviously gonna have to cut out the middle to make it big enough for a plant. So I'm just kind of digging my paws through, through these sponges to find the perfect one. I've said it once, I've said it twice. When you know, you just know. And with this one, this is it. This is the sponge. And here's the theater entrance that we watched the, uh, the demonstration of sponging, but it's closed. It's closed. There's a sign right there that says yep. closed. So oh, well. no VHS show. That's okay. We'll just have to come back. That's we'll have all. To come back. The yeah. are on the wall there. Now there's definitely no shortage of air plants around here too. I've noticed a lot of the stores carry them, and they are adorable. I love the idea of putting them in seashells. <laughs> Okay, I have to get this really quick. This place is called the Vegetable Ivory, and it looks like they sell a lot of uh, jewelry and things like that in there, but in the back, right behind that gentleman there, it said there's a metaphysical section, but they also sell puppets. And here's a peek inside their restaurant, which looks absolutely beautiful. But we're not gonna eat at the restaurant, not today. We're gonna be going to the cafe next door, getting a little little snack. So we're just checking out all of the pastries up here right now. It looks amazing in here. It is so difficult to choose what to pick. I want all of it. And here's what we decided to go with. I got whatever this little sandwich thing is here. And Jay got a key lime tart, which looks amazing. I'm so excited. We also got little shots of espresso. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Strong. Oh, yeah. Very, very strong, but it's really good. Oh, yeah. That's good. That is so good. That's so exactly good. what I need, need right here. Oh, goodness, no. You drink too much of this and you're on a rocket ship to the moon, basically. Yep. Rocket fuel. We'll tell him Move that. over, Cuban coffee. <laughs> That's good. Alrighty, so let's see here. Oh gosh, this is gonna be so messy, and we don't have any napkins or silverware, so we're, we're doing it. Up to fail again. Yeah, we're. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Goodness. <laughs> What's that like? Really good. Yeah. Can I get? A, can I get a bite? Huh? Right. Oh my god. Good, right? That is really good. Yeah. It's um, I thought it was gonna be like a donut, but it's much. It's more like angel food cake. Yeah, it's a lot cakier. Uh huh. Yeah. It's really good. good. Okay, give it back. All right, there you go. Two perfect bites out of it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>
some good stuff. Yeah? Your you turn. like it? Your turn. Okay. Here we go. Key lime pie tart time. <laughs> good stuff, huh? Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Goes with the coffee because the coffee's like bitter. Yeah, good thinking. Sweet and tarty. Oh, man. I'd be hard pressed to say which one is my favorite. Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah. First time I had that one. I've had that one before. This is so good. Take it anymore. I got us some napkins and some spoons. Yeah, leave it leave it up to us to get the silverware and the napkins after we just uh devour it. Stuck our we grubby started. paws into yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> Finished all of our snacks and uh, espresso. Now we are heading out of Tarpon Springs after a really fun a really fun time. Oh, oh yeah, that was yeah. a great day. Yeah, it was. Th fun. Thank you again for showing us no, around. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. All right, and normally I would uh, seek out a different spot for us to do the outro. Uh, apart from Tampa Jays, but I think we're just oh, this uh is beautiful. this is so beautiful like I have to I have to capture this moment. You have to everybody. we can do the same spot. Yeah. But anyway, thank you all for coming along with us today. We had such an awesome time. We had we did so much stuff today. It was, it was like spectacular. Yeah, it was really fun. So after uh Universal yesterday and then all of the stuff today, I think we are both I think we were both pretty Yeah, pooped. what a weekend, huh? Yeah, it was quite a weekend, but it was a lot of fun. The best way to start off I agree. the new year. Thank you all again for coming along with us. Hopefully you had a good time. Don't forget to check out Tampa Jay's video Thank you. as well. <laughs> again, I know like he did a lot more uh, history um, at the Beatles Museum and you know, really took the time to go through all of the stuff there. Oh, definitely. Videos, like I said earlier covered almost all of it i hope so yeah. yeah i would sure hope so so anyway okay all right. we will see you all later bye bye later bye. ciao i have to point out over here as well this might be one of the best boat names i've ever seen the saucy wench that's a good boat name oh yeah and don't forget i got this sponge and I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna make it into a planter. So, be on the lookout for that video at some point as well. Thrilling, thrilling content. It never ends on this channel. So, okay. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.